All right, so I've got three races to show you today. We've got a new division in the simulation lobby on Forza. It's the uh, Sport GT Icons division this time around. And um, so far, we've gone for the uh, Lotus Esprit, or Esprit, however you want to pronounce it. Um, I haven't been too impressed with it so far. Um, it, it's I find it to be quite uh, wobbly and unstable, but you'll see. You'll see how we get on with it in these first few races. This is from uh, the Saturday, so this uh, this division's only been in the lobby for a day. This is its second day. Uh, we spent Friday evening looking at a few different cars, and we decided that we liked this one at the time. So we've got the black livery. This time we've got the Bepis on there. That's uh, one of Sir Amalot's favourites, so I thought I'd do something a little bit different. So coming around the first few turns of... Uh, Sebring has been a bit of contact, there's been quite a bit of contact actually, um, my rear end has been heavily damaged and that's going to affect the performance of the car for the rest of the race. Um, uh, let's see, anything else I need to mention off the stop? No, um, never mind, I'm just going to waffle and make some random noises because that's apparently what I'm doing tonight. Lots of heavy contact, and that's Joust again. He's he's the guy who hit me up the butt coming around that second turn, and he's just rammed into this this uh, other fella, and and he's just he just doesn't care, does he? Look at that. He's either utterly terrible or just doesn't care. And I forget what <laughs> someone else has rolled this. <laughs> I love this lobby on the first few days. It's hilarious. First few days of any new division. That uh, was a rear facing Sir Roman lot we just passed by there. He was the ghosted car to our right side. I didn't realise that during the race, but now looking at it back, I just see him now. I think he had a, had a collision with one of the other cars, which wouldn't really surprise me, to be honest. The frustrating thing with having the damage on the cars it is going to affect the speed slightly as well, so I may have been able to get past Q8 Campy otherwise. Especially around here, it's very slippery. I mean, this, this corner's bad anyway. Very uh, slippery surface around there, very uneven.
And just like that, he seems to have had some trouble with his car. He's not got the acceleration there that he should have. And that's given me fifth place for very little effort. All I had to do was keep my nose clean following him around. That, of course, is with the damage to my own car as well. So, Not a great race, but I managed to get it home without having to go into the pit. So I can't really complain. Still getting used to a new car and um, coming from the Porsche from the last series. Uh, this one's definitely going to take some getting used to. So no clean laps from anybody there. Um, what were there? 11 people. I think at the beginning of that race, so three retirements. Meh. Well, that's the first one I wanted to show you anyway. We'll be moving on in just a moment. Alright, so the next one's going to be here at Monza. And this is going to be the alternate version of the track, so there's no chicane at the beginning. Uh, a lot more drivers this time. 20 it's saying there at the moment should be a nice clean run straight down to the fast right hander instead of uh, the usual mayhem that ensues at the chicane on the normal version of the track so let's just see how it goes So we're starting in fifth. Losing out to the uh, four wheel drive launch of the Nissan, but quickly getting fifth back again. Only to lose it to that incredibly fast looking Ferrari. Who's gone off onto the grass? Look at him go. Alright, coming up into the first right hander then. I really should have uh, slowed down a little bit more. That's going to cost me quite a bit of time. And it looks like we've had one retirement already as well. Two retirements. Yeah, look at that. Coming off onto the sand really cost me quite a bit of time there. But look, they're all piling into the wall. A couple of ghosts there just slip through those before they rematerialize. Already back up into sick. There's been another retirement. We're down to 17 already. give that guy plenty of space <laughs> he's all over the place look at him another retirement we're down to 16 cars I really think I could have gotten some time back if I'd managed to get past these two but not worth ramming into them to overtake them there's four generations of this Porsche 911 in this division and this is just two of them you see in here in that Corvette very fast in a straight line so fast that he had to break way earlier than I was anticipating and I almost rammed into him myself I'm gonna look to get behind the Corvette here because I know he's gonna pass the Porsche if I can get on his slipstream which all right there's not really a good slipstream in Forza but another retirement down to 15 already where we start with 20 so we've had like five retirements in the first lap <laughs> and despite coming off the track myself at this point in the first lap I'm already back up in the fourth place this guy's just gonna smudge my rear bumper all over the place and then he's going to drive into a wall so <laughs> and then I'm going to get driven into by that fella it's utter madness Ooh, a little bit wide there nothing too bad I 
know this guy wants to get past, but he's actually being quite patient. We're down to 13 only going into the third lap. So that's what, like seven retirements? Pretty sure it was 20 we started with. This guy's so quick through that turn. That Ferrari's looking like a really good car. Seen quite a few of them in this lobby and they all look pretty decent. Those that actually finish the race, that is. He's gone and got himself a little bit of sand there, so I'm going to get past him. That's going to put me into third again for the moment. It's pretty good, really. Started fifth, came off the track, managed to get back up into third. Well, fighting for third and fourth, really, isn't it? off there that's a back marker we just come past me getting on the sand one more time that's going to give him a third again leaving me in fourth but even still that's one position up from where i started even after the, the setback so down to 11 only this is crazy we've lost almost half the field an entire half <laughs> Well, that was a fun race. I'm still getting used to this car. It still feels a little bit twitchy. It's mid-engine, so the weight distribution is completely different. I've got a few ideas of um, some some things I can try changing with the tuning setup, but I'll have to wait until Sunday. So one person delivering a clean lap there. And yeah, look at that. We did start with 20. Look at all those retirements. What's that, like nine in the end? Anyway, there you go. We'll be moving on to the final race I'm going to show you in just a second. Alright then, third and final race I've got for you today is at Mugello. I think I've had this track um, a few times uh, since I've been uploading. It doesn't seem to come up very often, and it's normally the short version. So it's nice to actually see the full length version of it. Just waiting to get things started, but people keep dropping in and dropping out. Seems to be holding up the system a little bit. 22 players in the lobby, at least one on spectate, one just left. So we could have 19 or 20 drivers in the race, depending on how long it takes to load in. Here we go then. Alright, so we're quite far back. I'm towards the middle. No, we're right near the back. 
There we go. So 19 started, and I started in 15th place. Have to avoid a staller there. That's damaged some people, and I've driven right into them. That's not good news. So there's already been one retirement due to that. So the first turn. Lots of people sliding about all over the place, but it hasn't been as horrific as it could have been. Still plenty of pushing and shoving though, so... You've got to keep your wits about you yeah, in cases like this. And it's also important to stand your ground. If you think someone's going to come in on you and give you a bit of a bash or a shove trying to come into a corner at a funny angle but you're already there you have to stick it out don't let them bully you out of the way so we've got Sir Ram a lot ahead of us here he's going very slow through these turns he's actually gonna pull to the side and let me get past him around here yeah. having some kind of difficulty with the car He's certainly not the only one, so there's another position. So what am I up? Ten places already and there are only sixteen left too. speed of that Corvette is amazing just look at it go living up to the name on its livery it's a total monster struggling to get this one to behave the way I want it to still having fun driving it though. that's the odd thing it, it's it's tough to get used to and it's not behaving the way I would like it to as we get another retirement there down to 15 now but um, I feel like I want to give it a couple of days to see if I can get used to it maybe try um, tweaking the tuning setup just a little bit see if I can get it to be a bit more stable but uh, at the end of the day if it doesn't work out there's plenty of other cars to choose from there's four Porsches as I mentioned earlier four different generations of the 911 uh, there's the Corvettes, they look pretty good, there's a few Ferraris that look interesting and there's a host of others that I've not even properly looked at. Heading into the third and final lap here, I don't think I quite realised while I was actually playing this how close Jerry Cat was getting to me. Keep an eye on that uh, distance behind he is there. And we've got only 14 cars left in the race and I started in 15th. So anywhere I finish, as long as I finish, is a gain. So <laughs> realistically all I have to do is finish the race to make a gain there. Well, 
one's off, that's given me fifth. I didn't have any of the replays this time, so there hasn't been any cutting away to see what Sir Romelot's been up to. Conscap hasn't been with us today. Working on the weekend, he is. Down to only 13 cars remaining. We started with 19, so... Again, quite a, quite a few people quitting the race early. Mostly due to um, damage, I'm reckoning. close that proximity arrow was there. Jerry Cat really pushing hard on me. He doesn't quite have it though. He doesn't quite have the pace there to really overtake me before the finish line. So that's going to be fifth place. And uh, considering what did I start? 15th out of 19. So I've made 10 places up during that race. So that's not bad. Can't really complain. The car might not be exactly what I want it to be right now, but I can't complain too much about the results so far. Uh, six retirements from the nine team that started and I don't think everybody's going to get across the line either so that's going to be it for this one thank you all very much for watching uh, if you enjoyed this longer video do click a like if you didn't then just click dislike leave a comment if you feel like it and I'll see you next time